Today, Louisiana is going back to a modified phase two of the reopening process. State leaders say it was necessary to fight a third surge of COVID-19 cases across the state. We're seeing this in many states across America. Here with more on how to keep your family safe during the holidays is LSU infectious disease specialist, Dr. Fred Lopez. Uh, Fred, thank you for joining us. First of all, you know, we, we, we were talking before we came on air that no governor wants to move back, no mayor wants to move back, but you know, you, it's kind of that thing, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. It, it really is, and um, it, it's alarming to see these case numbers increasing, the hospitalizations increasing, deaths increasing um, across the United States. And you're absolutely right. Uh, we know that the only way to really reopen the economy is to get a handle on this pandemic. And um, we look like we're heading strongly into our third surge here in Louisiana. And Louisiana is not as bad as many other hotspots around the country. Uh, and that's just the reason they, they, they do want to go back to, you know, a more modified uh, phase two is to prevent us be from becoming critical in hospitals where you, you can't do elective surgeries, things like that. It, it's true. Um, and maybe our numbers aren't as bad as elsewhere, but, but, but they're starting to look like elsewhere. We've been looking across the United States over the last several weeks and seeing numbers uh, that um, have been almost volcanic in some people's descriptions. And we're starting to see the same thing locally as well. And, you know, we're all tired of it. I mean, it's, it's been a long time. People are having, you know, this COVID fatigue. You're tired of wearing a mask, but the mask right now until we have a vaccine is probably the key preventive, preventative measure. Yeah, Eric, I, I mean, w w We've said it many, many times uh, before that the mask is really important. Even the CDC recently has updated their guidelines regarding the mask, highlighting the fact that it's not only protective and in infecting others, but also protects the wearer as well. But you need to continue to do that in addition to the physical distancing, in addition to the frequent hand washing, in addition to the avoiding, avoiding uh, indoor gatherings with people outside of your immediate household. And we need to keep that in mind as Thanksgiving holiday approaches and many people coming into New Orleans um, uh, for the festivities uh, that would normally draw family and friends indoors. And uh, this is just going to be a different Thanksgiving. Yeah, and it does appear a lot of Americans, a lot of Louisianians are heeding the advice. But we're looking at these pictures at airports and, you know, millions and millions of Americans are, are thinking they might be the exception. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be the exception. And we know that where transmission is occurring, particularly as it is increasing in communities all over the United States, is with these informal gatherings of family, friends who are not wearing masks, who are not physical distancing and contributing to the transmission of COVID-19. And what, what's your advice to people right now? And because people, people are going to travel. So if you're traveling to go to go see friends or whatever, what's the best thing you can do? Look, the, the best gift you can give your family and friends if you're if you're not part of an immediate household is is not to gather with them uh, unless you quarantine for several weeks. Um, that's the ideal, right? Two weeks of quarantine, get a test. If that test is negative, then I think we can say you're safe to gather with someone else and not transmit the virus. But that's not going to happen in yeah. most circumstances. And quick, and so quick if you're sick, I'm out of time, but but are, are you optimistic or pessimistic about the next couple of months? Um, I am very concerned about the next couple of months. Uh, people are going to be going indoors more as the weather gets colder. And um, I think we're going to see more and more transmission of this virus if people aren't following the public health recommendations that we know work so well at flattening the curve. All right, Dr. Fred Lopez, thank you very much. We appreciate that. You can, of course, of course can keep updates, uh, get updated on all the COVID-19 information and the reopening phases uh, all from your phone. You can download our app or you can you can uh, text virus to 504-529-4444 or respond with a link to the latest information uh, that we have on our headlines online.